Ahoy, friends. Here we are aboard uh, Udforskaven. And uh, we're headed down harbor. We're up in Smith's Cove at the moment. And uh, yeah, just headed down, down harbor. Getting ready to raise the uh, mainsail. We're just under jib for now because we're going with the wind. When we get down near the uh, pier here, the uh, end of Rocky Neck, we'll put the uh, mainsail up and then we'll really be chugging along. So yeah, we uh, <clears throat> slipped the dock lines. I slipped the dock lines probably uh, 10 minutes ago and uh, got the sail all free and unbundled so it's ready to go up. Looks like I've got a bit of a cluster started there between the uh, fender, the jib sheet, and the uphauls for the sail, but we'll see, uh, see how that works itself out. So yeah, I figure um, figure we'll head over towards uh, Freshwater Cove and see uh, see what it's like over there, and uh, yeah, who knows? Maybe even spend the night if it's a uh, decent uh, holding ground. Looks like it will be. But uh, yeah, we won't make too many plans. Just. Uh, Play it by ear here. See what the tide and the wind do, and it looks like there may be a little bit of uh, a little bit of rain coming in tomorrow morning, so we could have a bit of a wet sail back or a wet row back, depending on whether there's wind or not. But you know, it is what it is. And uh, there's only so many days left in the summer. So we gotta get out here and enjoy it, that's for sure. Yeah, so, uh, Maybe I'll uh, catch you up again when uh, when I got the mainsail up. Like I say, right around the point here. Oh yeah, some good size, uh, looks like seine boats up in there. Double unders. All right, see you in a bit. All right, well, here we are, guys. Sail's set. It's uh, a little bit light as far as wind goes. A little bit lighter than I was uh, even hoping, but we'll uh, you know, see how we do. Maybe just go for a float on the, around the inner harbor, who knows?
Excuse me. So there's the uh, paint factory there. And uh, 10 pound island. And then the reef of Norman's Woe. And the wreck of the Hesperus occurred. Right there. And uh, Cape Pond Ice. The Lannan is in there. Yeah, so we're just sort of bobbing here in the inner harbor, and we'll see if the breeze picks up at all. And uh, I'll let you know uh, let you know what happens. Feeling a little bit more breeze at the moment. It's probably uh, blowing five now. Our waves are uh, getting out ahead of us. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll see. Anyhow, I'll uh, yeah, maybe restart the video when, uh, when we get into a little bit more breeze. All right, well, there's the paint factory there. And uh, now we're just getting out into the uh, outer harbor. Not out past 10 pound yet. And uh, yeah, still pretty light going. But uh, the wind has clocked around a little bit to the east. So that's got us in a little bit more favorable direction, at least, for, uh, for Freshwater Cove. Worst comes to worst, we'll, uh, we'll pull over to 10 pound and see if we can find a spot either uh, behind the island or maybe even on the beach there for the evening. It looks like the flags are uh, flying over at Fisherman's Beach on the promenade. So we'll see if we get into more wind on the uh, west side of the harbor or not. That may determine whether we end up going to fresh water uh, this evening or just come back towards uh, 10 pound. It's uh, probably close to 5.30 now, so it's uh, you know, getting on dark around 7.30, so we got another hour and a half. of sailing before uh, it would be nice to be to be anchoring about now <laughs> which uh, you know most days you could do out here if you got underway by 5 you'd be over to Freshwater Cove by uh, 5.30 or 6 it's not a very long sail if there's any wind so anyhow the uh, bait fish have been jumping quite a bit so there's, uh, you know, there's that to look at and it uh, looks like the bridge is, drawbridge is coming up right now. Oh, these guys are coming in on the end of a rope. It's that time of day. Everybody's coming into harbor. They got a bright light on the front of that boat. Wow.
break a while. Yeah, beauty. Anyway, so we'll see uh, what the wind does in the next uh, half hour or so, and that'll kind of determine whether we uh, just pull into to 10 pound or whether we uh, keep on going towards the anchorage. Anyway, beautiful evening to be out on the water. making much progress but enjoying the evening out here. A little bit of chop coming in through the mouth. Some low scudding clouds there. It's uh, right around 6.30, 6.45, so creeping up on 7 o'clock, and it looks like we'll get into the cove uh, before dark, so we'll see how that goes. Got a uh, couple lights on the boat just in case, but um, yeah, if you're out on a sailboat, a uh, small sailboat getting towards dark, if you've got a uh, flashlight and you shine it on the sail, the whole sail just lights up. So uh, you know, if you see or hear any vessels approaching, you can go ahead and turn that light on and. Uh, you know, reveal your presence or leave the light on the sail the whole time you're sailing is a great idea too. Alright, well, um, yeah, so I'll uh, start the video again, I guess, once, uh, once we get up in the cove. Hopefully I'll uh, be able to video a little bit of cove sailing. 
We may just end up rowing when we get up in there. Not sure if the wind's gonna die up in there or what. But uh, yeah, we'll see in a bit. Just about ready to tack over into the cove now, which is uh, over here behind us. Just to get enough uh, height in the wind. So uh, yeah, I'll tack over and we'll see what happens. Put the rudder over, sheet in on the main as far as I can. Let the uh, jib stay on the wrong side for a minute. I'll just hook the main under here and put a wrap on it because uh, not a lot of breeze at the moment. And then I'll switch the, switch the jib over to the proper side. And then uh, grab the tiller and we're underway on the new tack. Headed for fresh water. All right, well, I'll uh, start the video again once we get in closer to the cove and uh, let you guys know what's going on. All right, friends, well, here we are. Freshwater coves. Um, yeah, it's probably advantageous to get here on a little bit higher run of tide. Uh, the big plus is we'll be floating early, so yeah, it looks like the last of the moorings are pretty much uh, in the mud at the moment, so if you do come up in here and you want to get out at a low tide, don't go beyond the moorings, but if you've got the tide to wait, it might be worth heading up into the creek there. I'm sort of right at the edge of the anchorage here. But yeah, a gorgeous evening out here. Open the hatch and uh, get the below decks ready to ready for uh, the night. You can see it's pretty quiet out there. We got the uh, candle lit in here. And yeah, just uh, getting ready for a quiet night at anchor. So, uh, yeah, I think I'll have a little bit to eat and then probably turn in.
I can hear the uh, bell buoy going out there as well. Alright, well anyway, I guess that's about it for this video. And uh, we'll catch you next time on uh, Dory Dan's Small Boat Adventures. Yeah, thanks to uh, everyone who's uh, commented on the videos and look forward to seeing everybody soon out on the water. God bless and uh, have a great day. Good night.